Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'm going to tell you about some updates Train has made to the Series R, RTWD, and RTHD helical rotary chillers. I know what you're thinking. Change the RTWD and RTHD chillers? Are you serious? And we've gotten a lot of that, and for good reason. For many years, the RTWD and RTHD have been a customer favorite. They're the versatile, turn them on and forget them workhorses that every building engineer and facility manager loves. Don't worry, none of the essential features of these beloved units have changed. The updates we've made are solely intended to bring the RTWD and RTHD up to date for today's buildings and today's users. Let's take a look. First, equipment controls. Both the RTWD and RTHD have been updated from older CH530 controllers to Symbio 800 controllers, which offers some important benefits. Symbio 800 represents the launch point for digitally connected smart buildings. The controller integrates seamlessly with building automation systems like Train's Tracer SC+, which allows you to connect to an array of Train systems and services. With Tracer SC+, you can gain access to energy usage dashboards, perform a variety of energy efficiency and chiller performance analyses, and receive insights on equipment enhancement opportunities. Now, let's talk refrigerants. Because new government guidelines require the phasing out of high global warming refrigerants such as 134A, Train has transitioned the RTWD and RTHD to refrigerants that not only meet new guidelines, but are specifically chosen to enhance heating and cooling applications. The RTWD, for example, has been updated to R515B refrigerant for heating applications. R515B is not only more environmentally friendly, it also delivers hotter water temperatures of up to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, perfect in electrified heating applications. The RTWD will continue to use its 513A refrigerant for cooling, with an expanded operating map to allow it to be used in comfort cooling situations as well as in its regular low-temperature cooling industrial applications. The RTHD will likewise continue to use its R513A refrigerant for all applications, which offers a 55% reduction in global warming potential compared to 134A and can be configured to produce 5 degrees Fahrenheit leaving solutions temperatures. And that's it. See? Told you. None of the core features of RTWD and RTHD that you've come to know and love have changed. Not the reliability, not the efficiency, not even the footprint. We have only upgraded them to allow engineers more flexibility in today's connected and sustainable buildings. You are going to love them now more than ever. For more questions on the Series R RTWD and RTHD upgrades, or for other questions about these and other train chillers, contact your train representative.